Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Japanese Cuber, but today is gonna do something different on Mondays. Today I'm gonna start my new series. Uh, I'm gonna call it Music Mondays, where I take my favorite albums and I will be reviewing it for you. So today's first episode on Music Mondays, I am gonna be doing three different albums one by one. Um, since I'm gonna start off with my favorite band, which is the Beatles, so. Let's get started with my favorite Beatles album of all time. Start with Rubber Soul. See, one thing what made Rubber Soul such a great album that came out during the, during the mid '60s that it, this album is just a great album where you don't have to like go to like song number three and then you have to go scramble over just to get your favorites. This album just goes smoothly. Like you can just start at one and just end. You know, you can start with Drive My Car, and then you can end for Run For Your Life, just like that. With So, great album. And what makes this album really good, I would say, is just that it was experimental for the Beatles when they're just starting out to become, like, on top of the world and top of the charts. And um, so, yeah, that's Rubber Soul. It's made by Polyphone Records. And so let me take out the record, the vinyl record. Vinyl is awesome. Vinyl is the future. Start buying vinyls. That's awesome. So yeah, made by Polyphone. So yeah, Rubber Soul. If I was able to give this rating out of 10, I would say this would be a solid 9.5 on, um, by the way. Because not only that you get great Beatles songs, you get Drive My Car, Norwegian Wood, and then you get Noah Man, Think For Yourself, and Michelle, I'm looking for you in my life. If I need a song, and run for your life. Now, those are really good songs, and they're all on this album. And ten of those songs were one of the Beatles' greatest hits, okay? Were awesome, on all on one record. So, so yeah, that's the Rubber Soul record. So, and so let's go on to the next record. So, the next record, I would say that it's my, one of my favorites. It's the album Help. Um, yes, Help is a Beatles movie, by the way, if you ask. So, yeah, Help is actually a great album. It's more like, um, you have to have certain favorite songs to buy it. Um, I would say this is a solid 8 album, um, at 8 out of 10. So, this it's a great album, because you get, obviously, you get the song Help. You get The Night Before, You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, I Need You, Another Girl, You're Gonna Lose That Girl, Ticket to Ride, and Yesterday, I would say, are the best songs on this album. So... Also made by Polyphone, so more Polyphone, so and so yeah, Help is a great album. I would say that it's solid, pretty much, and so yeah, uh, there's nothing really else much to it. So let's show you the back, get a picture of the Beatles, all four of them. Um, obviously, that's George and John and Paul and Ringo. So. Um, let me show you the back of, let me show you the front of Rubber Soul real quick. Obviously, you get George, John, Ringo, Paul. Now, on the back, you get uh, scattered photos of everybody, as you may see. Awesome photos. I like that hair, though. Great hairstyle. Now, that's a cool Beatles mob, I would say. For my last album, I would say it's probably the most influential rock albums probably ever in rock history. I would say it's the White Album, or the Beatles it's called, but it's due to the white cover, and that's pretty much all it is, so people called it the White Album. And this and this was one of the very first Apple Records, yes, Apple Records, you've probably never heard of that before, but the Beatles, I believe, are the true statement of Apple, because Apple Records and Apple Corps came out in 1968, and the, um, the new Apple, as we know today, it came out in 1976. So yeah, I believe the Beatles on Apple uh, means Apple Corps or Apple Records. I do not support Apple. So, um, Apple Inc. I should say. But going back to the album, this was a great album, great rock and roll album, and this was a, the first double only double album that the Beatles have produced in their true years um, from the 60s. And um, as you may see, this is an Apple record, so I'll show you the what it looks what an Apple record would look like. Signature Apple, you get the Apple logo on the back, and you get the half Apple on the back. That's what all Apple records should be looking like. 
So, what makes this album look great? It's really good rock and roll, I would say. Let me open up to the middle. You get you get the good photos of all of them. Okay, if I can get in, yeah. I would say the key songs on this song on this album are back in the USSR. Dear Prudence, Obledi Obleda, um, Blackbird, um, Rocky Raccoon, Helter Skelter, um, Revolution One. That's what I would say. And while my guitar gently weeps. Um, so yeah. This was a great Beatles rock and roll album, and it became, because after the Beatles stopped touring after 1966, or late, early 1967, now this is where the Beatles became a band again, pretty much. So, and they wanted, they were not doing individual recordings for songs. This is when they all came back together and did a cool, brand new album. And this was it. This was the White Album. And so, yeah, um, that was my first Music Monday. Um, episode 1. I hope you guys like it and I will be doing this every Monday. Um, stay tuned for next week's or any time I feel like I'm making me and me type of music reviews I will post it up. Most likely every Monday though I will be posting my Music Mondays. So thank you so much. Please subscribe and you know peace.